Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you again for our time together. Well, it's that time of year when we begin to focus ourselves toward 2020. I call it the 2020 Vision Series. It's a short series where I'm going to be talking to you about stewardship. Stewardship of your promotion and stewardship of your prosperity. God has been good to us. This week we start with Remember where it all came from. Do not forget God. But right now, I want you to come back with me to the book of 2 Peter, chapter 2. More talk about these false teachers. Pick up with verse 14. They have eyes full of adultery, insatiable for sin, (laughs) full of adultery. These guys love pornography. They entice unsteady souls. So one of their target is unstable Christians. They have hearts trained in greed. Now, can you imagine that? Instead of training your heart to love and training your heart in loyalty and training your heart in faithfulness, they've trained their hearts in greed. Forsaking the right way, they've gone astray and they followed the way of Balaam. Now, come down to one other verse. Verse 18. For speaking loud voice of folly, they entice by sensual passions of the flesh those who are barely escaping from those who live in error. They promise freedom but they themselves are slaves to corruption. Now, I just want you to see two things here. False teachers are predators, and they go after two types of Christian, the unsteady or unstable and the baby Christians, just coming out of sin, just coming out of the kingdom of darkness. They promise them all kinds of things. But just notice, these are the people they target. I remember walking into a building one day, it was a large room, and as I looked around the room, you know me, I'm not really good at parties and I'm not really good at, you know, mingling and that kind of stuff. So I was kind of standing back in the corner, just kind of watching everybody, and I watched this guy surveying the room, and I watched how he could check people out. Now, I'm a pastor, I recognize people's character traits. I watched how he targeted insecure people, people with low self-esteem. He was going after girls who didn't have their shoulders back and did not feel proud of who they were. He, he was targeting these girls. And I thought, there's a predator. So when I saw what he was doing and who he was talking to, I, I walked up and introduced him. I said, I couldn't help noticing how you, you were going around targeting specific young ladies. He said, excuse me? And then he just turned and walked away. Now, if you will stand back in a room, if you'll stand back in a church, if you'll stand back at a conference or convention, it's not too hard to spot false teachers. They target the unstable, instable, unsteady believers, and they target the baby believers that are full of enthusiasm and want to learn, but they have no foundations. Learn to spot these guys and learn to... Insert yourself into places where they're working.